The recent developments surrounding the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission's MAC, investigation into Akbar Khan, a prominent Malaysian property developer and Singaporean businessman, have sent shockwaves through the corporate and political circles of both Malaysia and Singapore. Akbar Khan, aged 83, stands as the main shareholder of BRDB Development's SDNBHD, a prestigious high-end developer, which adds gravity to the allegations of money laundering and corruption that he currently faces. The max initiation of this probe, coupled with the subsequent raids on his properties and the freezing of his accounts, underscores the seriousness of the accusations leveled against him. The ties between Akbar Khan and former finance minister Daim Zainuddin, a key figure in Malaysian politics, further complicate the situation. Their relationship, dating back to the late 1980s, intertwines with pivotal moments in Malaysia's economic and political history. Notably, Akbar Khan's commercial ascent during Daim's second tenure as finance minister raises questions about the nature of their association and its potential implications. The investigation has unveiled a series of controversial dealings, including Akbar's involvement in the acquisition of multi-purpose holdings BHD, MPHB, and the subsequent allegations of coercion and irregularities surrounding the deal. Furthermore, the scrutiny extends to the lucrative agreement secured by Akbar's firm, Effective Capital, notably the exclusive rights granted by the finance ministry, headed by Daim Zainuddin, regarding the repatriation of frozen shares from Singapore's Central Limit Order Book, CLOB, market. The widening probe has not only implicated Akbar Khan and Daim Zainuddin but also other influential figures such as Tajuddin Ramli and Halim Saad. Their entanglement in this web of allegations underscores the pervasive nature of corruption within Malaysia's corporate and political spheres. The Pandora Papers scandal, which implicated Daim Zainuddin and his inner circle in offshore entities, adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing investigations. The revelations from the global collaboration led by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, ICIJ, exposed purported offshore assets linked to Daim, raising concerns about the transparency and integrity of his financial affairs. The max seizure of Manara Ilham, a 60-story building owned by Daim's family, further underscores the severity of the allegations and the agency's commitment to pursuing justice. As these developments unfold, it is imperative for authorities to conduct thorough and impartial investigations to uphold the principles of accountability and transparency. The outcome of these probes will not only shape the fates of the individuals involved but also send a powerful message about the commitment to combating corruption and upholding the rule of law in Malaysia and beyond. Now, what are your thoughts on these unfolding events? Do you believe the authorities are taking sufficient steps to address corruption in Malaysia? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this update informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful content on regional news and developments.